Hi, Jeff here from Illinois Central College's Teaching and Learning Center. Today I have a um, test in Blackboard and I want to adjust the settings that I have for it um, so that I have less students who get themselves locked out of the test when they have technical difficulties. And so I want to set it so that it has a time limit um, of 30 minutes and I have it set so that they must finish the test once they start it. Um, but I'm going to adjust the settings to do those same things in a little bit different way that will hopefully cut down on some the, the students who have technical problems. So I'm going to click the drop down for the test and hit edit the test options. And I'm going to scroll down until I get down to uh, so the test availability area. I want to go to these settings, force completion and set timers. These are the two that I want to adjust. So force completion is the setting that, set, that says that the students have to complete the test in one sitting. Like once they start the test, they can't stop it and do something else and then come back to it. Um, but that, unfortunately, is also the setting that causes students to get locked out of the test, to say that they have an internet hiccup, they br briefly lose um, access to the internet while they're taking the test and then uh, they, they get out of the test and then they can't get themselves back in and they have to contact their instructor to reset the test for them or whatever. Well, so I'm going to go ahead. I don't, I don't want my students to get locked out of the test so I'm going to take this force completion setting off um, but I'm still going to try and have them do the test in one sitting and the way that I'm going to accomplish that um, with this set timer option, I make sure that that is checked and I've got my time limit set for the time limit that I want, 30 minutes in this case, and I'm going to turn on the auto submit. So now the students will be forced to complete the test in one sitting because once they start the test, the 30 minute timing timer will start and at the end of that time limit, the test will auto, auto submit. And that timer keeps counting even though even if they exit out of the test or um, they go and do something else, the timer keeps counting and the test will auto submit at the end of the 30 minutes whether they were in the browser or not. Um, so what, but what's nice about this with forced completion turned off, um, the students, like if there's that brief hiccup and they get knocked out of the test, with forced completion turned off, they can still get back into the test right away and continue taking it. And as long as they didn't have a problem for too long, uh, they would um, be able to continue taking the test uh, and get, get back in and continue taking the test. And then, but the the timer would then be the thing that was making it so that they had to complete the test within one sitting because they only have the 30 minutes from the time they hit the start on the test in order to complete the test. So I'm going to change those settings and I'm going to come down and hit submit. And so my instructions that I wrote here are still accurate. They still have 30 minutes to complete it and once they start the quiz they have to um, finish it um, right then. They can't come back and do it at another time because I turned on that auto completion for the test. 